Hi there, this is Jerem from Pro Site Tutorials and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show how you can easily and quickly do a small slideshow using a totally free software called Windows Live Movie Maker. And if you still don't have this software, just click on the link below from this video so you can get it. And a slideshow is basically just a sequence of images you can also have videos, but I'm not going to show to you uh, throughout this video how you can do that, but it's pretty easy. And you can do a slideshow for many different reasons. For example, you can do a slideshow to, for uh, a YouTube introduction for your videos. Uh, you can also do a slideshow for, let's say, you want to show some uh, images, some photos from your latest vacation. To your friends you can also do a slideshow for that with photos with your family or whatever reason you want and in this video I'm going to show how you can do this I'm not going much in detail with each option from Windows Live Movie Maker I'm just going to show the options that are necessary for you to do a small slideshow okay so Currently I am in uh, Windows Live Movie Maker. This is how the interface looks like. And currently you can see that this window on my right side is empty and this is where the timeline will be. So I currently need to add a few images to this. So I can go to this link, click here to browse for videos and photos and had a few images or I just can't use this option on top that says have videos and photos so I click over here and I go uh, to my computer and browse for the photos that I want in this case it's this one um, I'm just going to double click it and as you can see it appears on my timeline and I have this small little line appearing on my timeline and once I drag around you can see that below the timer changes and currently the maximum time for this image is seven seconds and each image that I will open to my timeline will always have a maximum time of seven seconds which you can also change and I'm going to show how you can do that later on okay so Currently I just have one more image and I want to have more. So I go all, once again to have videos and photos. And I click on my first image over here. I use the shift button and I click on my last one. And as you can see, this immediately allows me to select all of the images. Now I open and all of the images appear on my timeline, just like this. Okay, so now I have all the images that I want to work with and I want to organize them and this is very easy you simply click on the image that you want and you click on it always holding your left mouse button and you simply drag them around and you can see that this small gray line appears and this is exactly if I just let go of my mouse button this is exactly where my image will appear in this case I want this one to be the, my first image and I'm going to do the same thing to all other images that I have over here. So I'm just going to drag them around until I have them organized exactly the way I want. Okay, now they are organized as I want and you can see that the maximum time for my video is currently 49 seconds but that's kind of big and I want to change it. So I go to the image that I want to change the time, in this case the first image, and you can see that a small green tab appears on top called Video Tools, and I'm going to click on it. And you can see that the duration over here is 7 seconds, and I'm going to change it to 5 seconds. And I'm going to change my second image, the duration also, to 4 seconds. And I'm going to basically do the same thing 
to all other images. Just like this. And my last image and my first one, I want them to last a bit longer. So I'm just going to add five seconds over here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the time change now is just 30 seconds. And my video looks a bit dry, doesn't have any effects at all. I'm going to add an introduction test to my first vid uh, to my first pick over here so I just click on my image the one that I want to edit and I go to home over here I select caption and as you can see a small test box appears below and I'm going to change the font style to the one that I want which is this one the size for my font to 48 I can also change the, the color of my test if I want just by going to the small a, clicking on it, and I have many different colors over here. If I want more colors, I go over here. I can even go to define custom colors, and I can basically choose whatever color I want. In this case, I just want white. Okay, so now I'm going to write exactly what I want. Um, okay, and now I'm going to drag this test to the place that I want. So I simply go with my mouse, and once this cross appears, I click on it, and I drag and place it exactly where I want, just like this. And you can see that um, you can see that my test also appears over here on my timeline. And I can also drag it around, the same thing I did with my image, my images, but in this case it's with my test, and drag it around and place it exactly where I want my test to appear. You can also see that uh, a small test tool tab appear on top, and, cu and currently I'm using that, uh, that function to dip my test, and I can also change the start time. In this case, I want appearing a bit sooner, just like this, 0 0.15 seconds. And test duration, I want to increase it to 6 seconds, just like this. So once I press play over here, I can see my video over here. And you can see that my test will also appear on my second image. And I'm going to add an effect to my test. This is very easy. You go over here and you can see that there are several options. And once I click on one, you can see a small preview appearing. I'm just going to expand this window so I can see all of the different effects that I can use, which are many. And the one I want is this one. Okay, so now I press play. And you can see I have some effect to my test. Now I'm going to have some tests on my last image. So same thing over here, caption. Choose the found style that I want to use. Choose this one. Uh, change the size. And I'm going to keep it white. Just write Portugal. I'm actually going to decrease the test box because it's way too big and just place it exactly where I want. Same thing, I'm going to choose an effect for this last test. And I want, uh, let's see, um, this one. This one looks good. I can also change the start time. Let's say that I want it appearing a bit sooner. And also change the duration say for seconds okay so currently I have something like this as a video and you can see that the transitions between each image is a bit drastic so I'm going to have some uh, transition effects to each image that I have over here now I'm going to select the image that I want and I go 
on top to animations. And you have over here many different anim animations and you can even see a preview. I'm going to expand this because the animation that I want to have is this one, blur through black. And you can see now once it changes to a new image it doesn't look so drastic. I can also change the duration for this animation which currently is 1.50 seconds and I can decrease if I want to 0 0.25 and very probably this won't be very no noticeable the the transition and I'm just going to keep it at 1.50 and I'm going to do the same thing to all other images had the same effect Actually, I'm going to click on the, this image that doesn't have any effect. Use the shift button and click on my last image. And this allows me to immediately select all the images that I want to work with. And I'm going to add an effect to them all. Just like this. And as you can see, I had an effect to all of my images. I can also use apply to all and this will allow me to add uh, the same effect to all of the images that I have on my timeline but since I didn't want to add this effect to my first image I didn't do, do that. Okay so currently this is how my video looks like and the only thing that is really missing over here so I can make this look really impressive is some music. So I go to home I had music over here I go to my computer and select the music file that I want and now I have some music on my timeline and you can even see a small green bar on my timeline where my music will be okay so this is how you can do a small slideshow it's very easy as you can see and that is all for this video if you have any question at all please leave a comment below and also subscribe to uh, ProSite Tutorials YouTube channel so you can receive our latest updates and stay there so you can see how my slideshow will look like and you will see that it really looks really sweet and this is something that you can very use easily use and you can basically do a video for anything that you want so stay there and stay tuned with ProSite Tutorials <music>